There are just a few weeks to go in the regular season for high school basketball, and that means the games carry more weight, especially if they're between sectional rivals. And we start in Raleigh County, a girls' section rivalry between Pikeview and Shady Spring. First quarter, Brooklyn Gibson to Kiara Richmond, who heads into the paint from the left wing. She scores from close range for the Lady Tigers. The team's trading baskets in the opening minutes. Hannah Purdue open for three from the corner. It is strong, but Anaya Brown securing the rebound, and she will score from the right side. But Shady Spring would go on a run later in the first. Richmond receiving the ball at the top of the key, dialing up a three, counteth, and the Lady Tigers with the lead after one, but the Lady Panthers take momentum in the second quarter. Hannah Harden out to Cat Farmer, who dribbles in, back to Harden, who will score from the right side, and then just a few moments later, Farmer on the wing, over to Purdue, open for three from the left corner, counteth, and Pikeview goes into halftime with a five-point lead. Shady Spring looking to answer in the third quarter. Richmond maneuvering around defenders for this basket to help trim the deficit, but the Lady Panthers able to keep their lead. Riley Meadows with a three attempt that's off target, but harder with the rebound and put back as Pikeview goes on to win on the road. Final score 67 to 60. Well, in Fayette County, we had a boys matchup between Summers County and Millard Trail in Heiko. First quarter, Matt Light to Eli Campbell near the top of the key. He pulls up and knocks down the triple, and the Patriots are on the board first. Later, Summers County will get a break on a Patriot turnover. Cruz Testerman going the other way and finishing this reverse layup as the Bobcats take the lead. And then in the second quarter, Duke Dodson will send a long pass to Brandon Isaac. He connects on the close-range basket from the left side. Summers leading by 15 at the half. Moving to the fourth quarter, Campbell with the deflection and the steal. And then just a few seconds later on that same possession, Light moving inside the paint to cut the deficit to single digits. Later, Campbell finding Cody Harrell, who will tally this basket from close range as the Patriots continue their rally attempt, but Summers County able to keep their lead. Testerman shot just off target, but Dotson with the rebound and the putback as the Bobcats win on the road. Final score, 58-54.